Broke a pressure, we're ready to go now. If you'd like to take a place in the game, yep, great. I'm ready, baby. Okay, action! Ah, oh, hello, I'm Professor Spaz, and welcome to today's Wounded Bee. It's very good, yes, mm. On today's show, we'll be looking at Professor Willie's. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, professor Willie's robot. The the professor's robot can do. <laughs> sorry, I can't stop that. Um, it, it can walk around like like a human. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, right, take it away. Uh, uh. Okay, robot. Come on, get up. Right, come on, say hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I will kill you. Uh. Bye. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, call a day, and we'll be back tomorrow. Bye. Okay, cut. <laughs> you see, I have an escape route if anything goes wrong in my show. So, I use it all the time. And this is it. I simply pull the rope here. Ah, oh, safe at last. If this were a film, I would be dead by... Oh my god, oh! Oh, will someone save me? I must save myself. Ha ha! Lee! Ah, oh, wouldn't it be great if we could survive falls? We could... <coughs> <laughs> oh, hello, I'm Professor Spaz, and welcome to Wouldn't It Be? On today's show, we'll be testing some super duper wood. On the left, there is the super duper wood, which is very, very strong. On the right, just the normal, average, everyday wood. Now, we can't put someone under the normal wood, it would be too dangerous, and we could get sued. But, we've been able to put someone under the super wood, because it can hold anything. So, John, how did you create this super duper wood? Please, tell us. Today. John? John? To me, the wood, I just pissed on it! Whee! Right, uh, take it away! <laughs> now, come on, how the hell was that supposed to go wrong, right? I said on my left, on, uh, on my left, and my left, I get it now. Right, I think we should scrap the auto cue. um... Well, I'll just go and see the producer, like I've done every show. Oh dear. Um, wouldn't it be great if we could have... Ah, oh, hello, I'm Professor Spares. On today's show, we'll be watching Gustav here try to get out of a safe, which has a lock on it. So, Gustav, have you picked many locks before? Oh, yeah, 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 well, well no, I don't, you know, break into the houses. No, <laughs> no, no, I, well, I have, yeah, no. Okay, uh, he has to pick the lock within the next minute. If he doesn't, he'll die, because there's not enough oxygen left in the safe. Anyway, take it away! Yes, I think we should have put less oxygen in the safe. Um, 
It's going to take too long. Uh, let's look over here at next week's show. Well, on next week's show, we have the Swindon Karate Club, but I'm better than them. <laughs> anyway, they'll be showing me a few moves and some special kicks. You could have at least spelled karate right, you stupid arthur. Anyway, um, let's have a look at Gustav here. We are. It seems to be awfully quiet. I, I think he must be listening for the right clicky click, you know. Uh, well, well, time's almost up. Um, we'll just have to let him out. Uh, and he failed the test, but never mind. We'll have to try it next week. Right, open the door. Um. Jim, you wouldn't mind calling my solicitor again, would you? I think we've got the usual situation. <laughs> Call him now. <laughs> ah, wouldn't it be great if we could all hold our breath for a long time? We could swim underwater and survey the... <laughs> ah, 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 get off me! Ah, my head! I can't, ah, ah. Kinky, quite rude, but very, very kinky. I, hmm, yes, ah, uh, hmm, ah, uh, hmm. Ah, oh, hello, I'm Hi, Professor Spaz, and welcome to Wouldn't It Be, with Digital and Surround Sound. No, I don't, I don't like, like it. it. Get, Get rid of it. it. No, I'm, I'm not having this. this. Ah, oh, very good. That's much better. Now, on today's show, I'll be trying out some special moves with the Swindon Karate Club. Now, on today's show, you're going to show me how to do a special kick or something, aren't you? Um, I'm not in with the, with the right lingo, as it were. <laughs> mm. Yes, that is right. It is all about control. Lots and lots of control. Um, uh, very, very good, yes. Uh, well, could you give us a demonstration so I can try it out myself? Yes, it's about control. As you can see, I'm using this special kick. It's very good, very effective. Yes, that is right. Now, on today's show, I'm going to be trying out some special but anyway, I'll just try it out. Okay, here it goes. Bonjour, monsieur. Ça va? C'est combien? C'est très bien. Merci beaucoup. Bonjour. Au revoir, monsieur. Très. No, no, no. This is all wrong. You're doing it completely wrong. This is not using technique or control. As I taught you, you, you stupid fat man. I see. Well, ah, you stupid piece of shit. God, throw my collar out of the cupboard. No one insults Professor Spaz. Ah, <laughs> oh, wouldn't it be great if we had our own armies? We could have Jedi Knights and things. Oh, but uh, 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 bye bye. Ah, hello, I'm Professor Spares, and welcome to Wouldn't It Be. Today we're on location at a theme park. Very good. Today's show has nothing to do with a theme park. It's just that we need the grass area for Way. the launch into space. I know it sounds crazy, but we're going to try and land on another planet. The planet is called Mars. It's populated, you know. <coughs> anyway, we have to pass through a few dangerous doings like asteroid fields and um, nebulae. Ne nebulae. Yes. Anyway, let's go to the launch pad. Very good. Come on, everyone. Uh, uh, John? Gustav? Where have you gotten to? Well, finally, we're on our way to the launch pad. Now, it's not very really far, it's just a 
down the road. That's why we're in a car. Now, John. J John? John? Uh, oh, crap. J John? Oh, he's drunk, isn't he? No, very good. Very, very good, yes. Right, come on, Gustav. Come on, uh, leave John. Let him sleep, the stupid bastard. Come on. Right, engage the transporter. Right, start the countdown. Start, oh, bloody hell. Do I have to do everything myself? Yeah, five, four, three, two, one. The asteroid field, hold on! Aha! Oh yeah! Hello, the nebulae! Nebulae! No, oh, very straight! Yes, I like this! Oh, hmm! Very good! No, oh, there's Mars! Right, hit the accelerator! No, no, not that one! No, not that one either! That one there! That's it! Ah! Oh. Now, Gustav, I've brought you here under false premises. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. But don't you know what you mean, um, false uh, pretenses? Pre pretenses? Pre 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 pretenses? No, oh, bollocks. I was going to say if you would like to stay here forever, because I don't like you. But unfortunately, I've just seen, um, well... I say, hello, it's Professor Spaz, isn't it? Yes, yes, I, I think we've met before somewhat, eh? <laughs> May I introduce my brother, Mr. Spaz? Yes, I was exiled here after doing one of Professor Spaz's shows. It was, it was very shite, yes. <laughs> I think we should adjourn now. Let's head back to the ship. Quickly. Oh, yeah. Well, no, no, actually, actually I'm saying that. I'm saying, oh, yeah, no, that, that. Because you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't go back because you've got no fuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As you say, as you say, in, um, in space and stuff. In space, no one can hear you scream. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear that? Ah, oh, wouldn't it be great if we had enough fuel to go home? We could go home and live the rest of our lives on Earth. Bye. Did I ever tell you the time when I urinated on Professor Spaz's head? Oh, it was a long time ago now, but it was really funny. Anyway, I was standing there with my thingy hanging out. Now witness the firepower of this fully armed and operational battle station. You may fire when ready. Since this show is modern and hip and in the hood, ha, huh, yo, uh, I've got an email address. It's changed from the old one. But this is much better. It's prof underscore spares at hotmail dot com. Bye. Ooh, a computer. <laughs>